I've been filled with grieving people who just can't believe that Quincy Reese Jr. is gone. Meantime, as you mentioned, Ellis and Christine, his father apparently has new information that the police tell me they will definitely be checking out. The aftermath of a tragedy. Friends and family continue to gather outside Crenshaw High to remember 16-year-old Quincy Reese Jr., an honor roll student and athlete whose grieving father said his son was headed to college on a scholarship and hopefully to the NBA. The love I've been receiving, um, phone calls, test message, everything won't, it won't even stop ringing. I can't answer everybody. Quincy Reese Jr., Q as he was known, was shot and killed Saturday night after a fight broke out during a birthday party at this club on 74th and Western. Why? Reese Sr. relayed a morning voicemail message from a friend with crucial information. He got jumped and then they shot him. The person who did it was already in there. The message told me that it was over a girl. I guess the guy who did it, that was her dude. The LAPD tells me they'll run that lead down along with any others. So far, no description of a suspect from Saturday night and only a dark vehicle involved. We don't have too much to go on right now. LAPD South Bureau Homicide Lieutenant Victoria Lim's team is handling three homicides from just this past weekend. In Reese's case, they're looking for video from the lounge and IDing witnesses. Not clear if the dad's friend has talked with police. It was a big crowd, so you would think there would be numerous witnesses that would be happy to help. Yeah, but again, I'm, you know, this just happened. We were out here just since yesterday. You know, it's the weekend. Um, our detectives are out as we speak, trying to locate the witnesses. So I think, um, it's coming. It's coming. The information is coming, and I'm, I'm really hopeful that we're going to have some really good leads. So the outpouring of... What's happening? Hollywood yelling, checking in, man. Sad news. Sad news, man. Lil' Q. This sad, 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 man. Quincy Reese Jr., 16-year-old Crenshaw, star athlete, shot and killed in L.A. And now they're saying this over a girl. It's just sad, man. Sad. Just in a... I've seen him play, talented. Never seen him play basketball, I mean, football or um, baseball. But as far as basketball, I've seen him on that court. Very talented, man. He he looked like he had a um, good head on his shoulders, man. Like he, like he was hitting in the right place, good grades. Talked well, manner is just sad, man. So according to the police and witness, around 11.45 Saturday near 74th Street and Western Avenue, when officers arrived, they found the 16-year-old star Quincy gunned down His family, his family, like you see, they said he was at a um a party. And they said, guess fight broke out or whatever, and people attacked him. Say they chased him down, beat him up, and shot him in the head. And that's according to his cousin, Eric Johnson, who was there. Um, I think he was there with him. Oh, man. This is just so sad, man. 
Shit like this just be so sad, man. Youngsters just out here dropping like flies, man. Sad. And it, like it's um, like I say, his cousin Quincy said they attacked him. This is his words. They they attacked him and chased him down like a dog and shot him in his head. He say, "Come forward, you guys know who did it. You know what happened. Open your mouth. Open your mouth." And that's what his cousin said. And the team father, Quincy Senior, Quincy Reese Senior said his son was an honor roll student, planned on being a, the captain of the basketball team, planned on going to college. He had. Mad scholarships already. And he taken for him. His father said, God allowed me to be with him for 16 years, and I'm thankful for that. But no arrest has been made. And right now, like I said, the, um, the newest report is that it was over a girl. That shit is sad. I hope it ain't like, man. And they already said they jumped on them, so that's all you need. If you want to jump on them, jump on them. You ain't got to, you ain't even got to take it there. Like these guns, man. Suckers with guns. Suckers with guns. Y'all just don't know how much I've been through growing up, man. And put it like this. I wasn't the first to bring the guns out. Motherfuckers just couldn't take ass whoopings no more. I definitely want the first to pull the guns out. But a lot of people can't take can't take a whooping. You know what I'm saying? Some people just cowards, just be wanting to shoot. You know what I'm saying? Y'all already jumped beating on this man. Then you still gotta shoot him on this team, man. You still gotta shoot him. You took this man life dreams away. And Took that youngster away from his family for nothing, for nothing. That shit is sad, man. It's very sad. Man, prayers go out to his family. All his loved ones, man, everybody that cared about him, man. You know his father going through it. Man. Rest in peace, little Q, man. I hope they get justice. In any way they choose. Hollywood Yellow checking out.